Hello friends, this is Diane of the Diane and Carol Show. today. Um, this is Carol's theatrical understudy. She's not here with us right now, although I miss her terribly when she's not around. Um, I'm making a quilted curtain for my bathroom. Everything's getting replaced in my bathroom. It was from a bad bathtub and then the floor got wrecked and then apparently the Vanity was going to fall apart, and then before you knew it, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Ah, don't fall over. Um, and so now I thought I might as well make a new curtain. Um, I've been sorting. I There's a lot of fabric sorting in this show. Um, Carol, We saw Carol sorting fabric, and it was a very elaborate procedure. And I thought it was interesting... I was watching and then when she pulled up this red fabric, I thought, I like that one. And then both she and Alice said it was gross. I thought that was funny. It all comes down to taste, doesn't it? Um, I did some sorting. I did some sorting with the battery dead on the camera. Um, this is all a whole bunch of quilt. I started making um, this quilt many times in the past and never finished it. Hello. And welcome to the Diane and Carol Show. I am Carol, and today I will be making muffins. That's a lie. <laughs> it's cookies. I just ate a muffin, though, so I'm confused. Nobody is behind the camera today. It is only me. And I'm rather uncomfortable. But I'm going to try to still have a personality. I was thinking before I turn this on, does someone have a personality if there's no one around to see it? It's like the tree falls in the woods thing. We'll see. I, I can do this. I, if Diane can do this, I can do this. Okay. We're making cookies. They're also dairy-free because I don't eat dairy. But I am waiting for my computer to charge so that we can look at the recipe, and then I will show you what we have to do. Um, I thought it was kind of fun. If you look at these, these are little quilt square babies. Um, see, that's the beginning of one of those and I just keep doing them in rows and that's how I make so many of them at a time and they just keep getting bigger and bigger I just keep adding a strip on it's called strip quilting and this is a the log cabin quilt it has a red square in the middle very often it's sort of dark on one side light on the other and then you can make patterns out of it so um I think what I have to do now is I have to go and measure the bathroom curtain that's there so I can determine how many of these. When I've imagined this, I've been imagining it for a few days, I've thought about getting out braid and having like gold braid embedded in it. Like, So I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to go and get a tape measure and measure the curtain so I can determine how many of these I need. Here is the recipe we're gonna be doing. They are sugar cookies. Um, this recipe is vegan, but I'm gonna put in eggs anyway. Um, and then we'll make the frosting as well. I think I'm gonna make them for Valentine's Day. Okay, I need to stop doing this. Oh, my pants are caught on the thing. Ugh. The first thing we're gonna do is take out everything we need. I just got my elbow wet. Okay. 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 Uh. You need some margarine. Hello. Um, 
some time has gone by and I've done some work on this project. Ah! Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. What have I done? Um, this stack here, I've measured them to six and a half by seven inches each and cut them using roller cutter and quilting ruler. So they are the right size. I have this stack, stack still to cut. Um, I have picked out some that are rejectos. They're over there. And I have um, this stack here. They're smaller ones that haven't grown up yet. And I have arranged fabric. Like I've picked out different bits of fabric to sew on. Um, that's my favorite part of the quilting process is picking what is my next strip. It's always very exciting for me anyway. Um, so these are in a stack to sew on the sewing machine. seems to think that I'm a questionable baker um, and she may be watching this at this very moment so I'm determined to prove her wrong so I'm going to do this very well I've decided um, you you just watch MC watch and learn okay so I'm going to add softened butter to a large mixing bowl and cream with a mixture mixer. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to follow I'm going to follow the directions exactly. There's nothing that could stop me. Um or stop this from being good. It's going to be so good. You just wait. Should I direct the, this whole thing to MC? She could be in a video. She's asked to be in a video. I told her she'd be in a baking video because she ridicules my baking. But I'm already doing that, so maybe we'll have a second one where we do something else. Um, or maybe we'll do something different altogether. But it should be really fun, because she's really fun. And I hope she sees all this. I hope I don't edit this out. Because in the last video, I also mentioned her, but I had to edit it out. Because Diane was talking in the background, and I didn't want to make it sound like I was interrupting her. Okay. Creaming time. <laughs> What we do next is we iron. So what we're doing next is, see we have this big long line and I cut them up to make them into segments. There's three of them. I've cut into segments and then I iron open. I have 32 completed trimmed squares. I need 48. I have the right amount, 32, 48, you know what I mean, of these that are in process, um, ironed and ready to be cut. These are the end of it all. Um, and but what I'm going to do after that is I will start, as I go through that, I will start looking through here and looking for fabric I think that I don't like. Look at me following all the measurements. I'm not usually a big measurement person. I like to follow my gut. It's possibly why my baking occasionally is hit or miss, but occasionally it's exceptional.
sugar. For example, there's two lines of pink here. I may decide I'm not that crazy about the pink. And maybe what I'll do is take this green velvet ribbon and just, it's got fuzz all over it, and just sew it down there. Um, I've always liked the idea of braid on a thing, on a quilt. I might just cover it up like that. Um, and I've got miles and miles of this rick rack. I might, so, or I might try to distract it and put it through the, diagonally through the center. Um, something like that. So I'm going to start decorating the squares with all the braids and ribbons and stuff. This is a message to Marie-Chelle that I just put the dough in the oven to freeze for 15 minutes. Not oven, freezer. Which is something I would never in my life do. But I'm following the rules today so that my cookies taste good. And I prove everyone wrong. So I will now be waiting 15 minutes for the dough to freeze, and then we will put them in the oven and work on the frosting. Onto the field. Here he is here. Look at him there. Now here's my complaint with this, right? I love a streaker. I absolutely love it. I think it, I think it raises any sports occasion. We're back. Okay, I'm gonna put these into little balls. Filming Brody Boy behind you. Oh, big <laughs> yawn, big yawn. I'm going to finish it up and have it as my bathroom curtain. And um, because I'm making my bathroom a little bit woo now. So it has been my pleasure sharing this experience with you. I am Diane of the Diane and Carol Show.
Can I get to eat a cookie? Yeah.